So over for over 40 years, I was a Jehovah's Witness, and I served as an elder, ministerial servant. I was a Spanish congregation in Yuma, Arizona. And, um, you know, I always loved the model prayer, but I never we never got to use it. When I would recite the model prayer in the congregation meetings, because I was an elder, I had <coughs> a lot more authority, you know, I would get the looks. People would look at me funny, and, and I would even get comments that, you know, it's too Catholic-y. You sound like a Catholic reciting the model prayer. And, you know, you had to go back and look at the model prayer because you didn't know it by memory because you never used it. But in all fairness to Jehovah's Witnesses, they'll say, well, we do use a model prayer. Yeah, but only a portion of it. And it's also very interesting, you know, I always tell people, you know, there's a genius, a guy who's a, a total genius. He was a general in the World War II. His name was George Patton. And he says, if everyone is thinking alike, no one is thinking. Well, if we can use that same uh, thought process, if everyone is using the same Bible, then nobody is thinking. You know, that's one dangerous thing. If you go to a church or if you go to a congregation and everyone has the same Bible, that's a good sign that you, you know, you're, trying, you're getting mind control there. There's a beautiful thing about looking at other people's Bibles, different Bibles, because you get to see things from a different perspective. You know, in the model prayer that the Jehovah's Witnesses would only use, part A, they would say, you must pray them this way. Our Father in the heavens, let your name be sanctified. Whereas other Bibles use, you know, uh, hallowed be thy name. But, um, and then Jehovah's Witnesses will continue saying, let your kingdom come, let your will take place in heaven, as in heaven, also upon earth. And they would stop there because then they could tailor that prayer to their teaching of paradise earth and, you know, heaven on earth, heaven uh, of 144,000 Jehovah's Witnesses in heaven. Now, the last part, Jehovah's Witnesses would have to go to the Bible because they wouldn't remember it. And uh, in it, it says, give us today our bread for this day and forgive us our debts as we have also forgiven our debtors. We don't want to tell that to God because then you would have to forgive the people that you've disfellowshipped and kicked out of the congregation. So see, that prayer doesn't fit with the actions of Jehovah's Witness. My sister and my brother do not talk to me. Why? Because I'm not a Jehovah's Witness. See, they haven't forgiven the debts of their, uh, you know, uh, 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 they haven't forgiven their debtors. What sin have I done? You see, you see why it's so important. But the real reason why Jehovah's Witnesses do not use the model prayer is because Jesus at the end says, and do not bring us into temptation, but deliver us from the wicked one. Others will say sin. You see, God can work with a person who is an adulterer or a fornicator, somebody who goes into fornication, or somebody who, you know, uses drugs in a, in a very bad way, perhaps a woman who's aborted a baby. And God can work with people like that. It's, he doesn't want to see that happen upon anybody, but it's something that you can work with because if a person has a condition of heart that wants to do what is right, you say, God, deliver me from the wicked one. But as a, speaking from experience as a Jehovah's Witness, when you believe that every, billions, of peop, billions of people are going to die because they're not Jehovah's Witnesses, because they don't read your magazines and they don't go to your meetings, billions of people are going to die and only you guys are going to rule uh, on heaven, I mean on earth, you know, that is very hateful and hard. And that is, that is not delivering us from the wicked one. That is giving yourself to the wicked one. That goes contrary to God love the world so much. So the, the point I'm trying to make is that, and this is the whole point of everything. If, if you recite the model prayer, and Jehovah's Witnesses don't want you to do it, but if you recite the model prayer on a regular basis, just those three verses, your prayer might get answered. God just might deliver you from the wicked one. And that's why I always say, you know, in, in joking, but really not joking, you know, about the Satany group, the seven ancianos teaching at New York. If you pray the model prayer, God might, he just might answer your prayer and deliver you, deliver you from the wicked men who are telling you that only they, only they uh, have God's approval. But when they are under oath to testify, this is what they say. Jehovah God spokes people on earth. Uh, that, I think, would seem to be quite presumptuous to, to say that uh, we are the only spokesperson that God is using. You know, today I saw uh, the Donald Trump rally in Florida. And Melania Trump opened up when she, she got on stage. She said a couple words, and then she says, let's pray. 
and she recited the Lord's Prayer. And I thought, wow, here's a woman who, you know, the, the First Lady of the United States is reciting the Lord's Prayer. And who are the ones mad? The Jehovah's Witnesses and people just like them, people who hate their country. But the great majority of people didn't have a problem with it. They don't have a problem with reciting the Lord's Prayer. But you know who has a, a problem with reciting the Lord's Prayer? People who hate their country. Yeah, people who hate their country like, uh, dislike the Lord's Prayer. And Jehovah's Witnesses are not, like, are not worthy of Melania Trump. Melania Trump cites the Lord's Prayer. Jehovah's Witnesses don't. I found that to be very, very, very telling. I'll make this short and sweet. As I was editing the video, I noticed how in the beginning I used the word model prayer, and then I talked about the Lord's Prayer. And it goes to show the conditioning. It's very ingrained with Jehovah's Witnesses, is that there's nothing wrong with saying model prayer, and, and but Jehovah's Witnesses are afraid to use the word the Lord's Prayer. You see, is there anything wrong with that? No, but it's a conditioning, you see, and it's still ingrained. Even though, even though I prefer saying the Lord's Prayer, just through habit, you say the model prayer. You don't even think about these things. But it's, it's that type of hatred that Jehovah's Witnesses have for everything Catholic. They're so hell-bent on being so different than everybody else. We have to be so different as Jehovah's Witnesses from the world. We can't say the Lord's Prayer, heavens, no. We have to use the word model prayer. You know, we can't use the word B.C. We have to use the word B.C.E. or Common Era versus A.D., the year of our Lord. Jehovah's Witnesses have it all backwards. They're, they're really afraid to even say the word Lord's Prayer. That's another one. If you were to go to a kingdom hall and you were to say, um, let's recite the Lord's Prayer. Those are some fighting words. They're going to say, what do you mean? You know, you sound like a Catholic. Or they're going to they're gonna have a judicial committee on you. And someone's going to just go off on you. I mean, it is that type of mentality that is just... Is just so I'm just so happy that I'm I'm out. I'm no longer Jehovah's Witness, and I can and uh, I can say the, the Lord's Prayer. I can say the model. I can say whatever I want, and I don't have to answer to anybody. I don't have to go to any special committee. But um, um, I am very grateful um, for for the circumstances in life that took me out of this religion. You know, and I do it all over again. You know, um, I'm so happy to be free from this cult where now I can be totally free and I can say the Lord's Prayer whenever I want. So, but I, I in, in editing, I, I caught myself uh, still with the Jehovah's Witness mindset of using the word model prayer.